This lesson is part of the TI Inspire CX CAS technology student course. In this lesson, we will look at analyzing a data set in the lists and spreadsheet application. Let's say Ms. Hall, a year nine teacher, surveyed her class of 15 students regarding the number of pieces of fruit they ate last week from Monday to Friday. How can Inspire help us to analyze this one variable data? Using the menu, open up a lists and spreadsheets application. Up in the name cell for column A, key in the word fruit. That will be the name of our list variable. Press enter, then the down arrow key, and starting with cell A1, enter each of the 15 data values and press enter or the down arrow key after each value. Now note, you may wish to pause the video here to make those data entries using the list that appears at the top of the screen. Press Control-7 to go to the top of the list and check that they've all been entered correctly. With the cursor in cell A1, press Menu, then Statistics, then Stat Calculations, then one variable statistics. Tab down to OK to confirm that you're looking at one list only and press Enter. Where the entry for X1 list shows that you'll be using the values in column A, note the square brackets that appear after the A. That denotes that all values in the column will be used. And also note that the results will be placed starting in column B. Since all is as it should be, just press Enter. You'll see the data presented in columns B and C. In column B, the headings for the various categories that INSPIRE has calculated are seen. The values themselves are seen in column C. Look, for example, at cell B2, which gives the symbol for the mean number of pieces of fruit. Next to that, in cell C2, it looks like the mean is 5.0666 with several dots after it. In fact, the value that is given to that can be seen more fully either below that cell, as you can see here, or down here in the results in the entry line below. Now take some time to scroll through column B. So we'll go back over here to column B to note that there are 12 values. in cells C2 to C13. There's C13 and all the way up to cell C2. Importantly, notice that in rows 8 to 12, the all-important five-figure summary is given. And we can see that the median is 5. Finally, all the data in this INSPIRE document can be edited, and thus the analysis of that data can be updated too. On this Listen Spreadsheet page 1.1, place your cursor in cell A3. Where the third data value is 5. Now, what if Ms. Hull looked at her survey results again 
and found out that this should have been a 25 rather than a 5. Just type 25 and press Enter, and the statistical calculations will have been adjusted within the spreadsheet. Some will have changed. The mean, for example, has changed, and other values have increased. But looking again at the five-figure summary, there it is, the median stayed at five. However, there's been an increase in the third quartile and also in the maximum value. That student who ate 25 pieces of fruit seems to stand out. Let's open a data and statistics application, one point, page 1.2. Press Control, I for Insert, choose Data and Statistics, In the line below, we'll select fruit as the variable. We'll change that dot plot to a box plot by pressing menu, plot type, choose box plot. And as you might have thought, 25 is an outlier. Inspire has placed it separate from the main part of the rest of the graph. Maybe that student counted the individual blueberries on his cereal in the morning. That's all for this lesson. Be sure to check out the other videos in this course.